New finesse wear in, I need a new jumper. Need a one with six O's, that's a new number. Just shot the whip, was on my 12th runner. Uh, but really, a lot of our growth over the years has been outside of the U.S. I think that's reflective of where there is regulatory clarity. Places like the U.K., Europe, uh, Singapore, uh, Dubai, and the Middle East. Um, these are jurisdictions that have provided clear frameworks and rules. Um, so that's where we see a lot of growth for our business around payments. Yeah, and Monica, the UK was uh, singled out as one of the big countries in the Statista report as one of the big hubs for fintech. Uh, is that a, a country where you're looking to kind of up your investment, uh, particularly as the UK wants to become a, a crypto hub with specific regulations uh, tailored to crypto companies? Is that where you're looking to put more of your operations going forward? Absolutely. So uh, our, our large hub offices, of course, we, we have a presence in the US, but our presence in London has grown significantly over the years. Uh, that office is more than doubled in size, and uh, we have a pretty large footprint in terms of our customer base uh, throughout Europe and the Middle East. Dubai is another key office for us, as well as Singapore. Um, so we've seen a lot of growth through Europe, Middle East, Asia Pacific, um, and Latin America has been a, a region that has certainly been heating up for us. We have a key office there in Sao Paulo. Solo Scrooge, sending peace and blessings to you all out there. Hashtag Solo Nation. How's it going, my people? Hope everyone's well. Appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're giving you updates on Sologenic, XRP, and Corium. Also, hit the like button for me, my people. That helps the channel grow by pushing the channel through the algorithm and the analytics. So shout out to Monica Long, president of Ripple. She said that a lot of the crypto's business growth has come from outside of the US and that the UK have a crypto hub. And as we can see here, Bank of England releases new paper on Ripple use cases. The Bank of England has released a new paper that explores the use of Ripple's interledger protocol for synchronized settlement of payments. The new step taken by the Bank of England shows the increasing interest of the central banks in blockchain technology. The paper is titled Ripple exploring the synchronized settlement of payments using the Interledger protocol. So if we go along, so here we have the Bank of England FinTech Accelerator proof of concept. Let's run through this quickly, my people. Ripple exploring the synchronized settlement of payments using the Interledger protocol. Background, the Bank of England's FinTech works with innovative firms and new technologies. In this proof of concept, POC, we wanted to explore the synchronized movement of two different currencies in two different simulated real-time growth settlement RTGS system using the Interledger protocol. The bank has also recently started a program of work to replace the UK's real-time growth settlement RTGS service. RTGS is where financial institutions hold their sterling bank accounts. Like any account holder, these institutions can store balances, reserves in these accounts or use them to make payments. The Bank of England has been operating RTGS since 1996 to provide a safe and intermediate way for banks to exchange payments. Since 2006, it has been paying interest on reserves held in RTGS to support the implementation of monetary policy as set by the Monetary Policy Committee. The vision for the renewed service is set out in the RTGS blueprint document published in May 2017. In that vision, the bank explained that it planned to introduce new functionality to support the synchronization of cash movements made in RTGS with the movement of cash and assets held in other systems in the next generation of RTGS. More detailed analysis of the benefits and costs of the different technical option was however required. This POC formed part of that analytical process. It should be noted that the bank's POC process is completely segregated from core systems, does not use any core system and uses a simulated RTGS system to explore the features we are interested in. The proof of concept. The POS focused 
on a high value cross border payment scenario in which transactions in two different currencies are executed simultaneously in two different simulated RTGS systems that could represent two different countries. Our key objectives were determining whether the Interledger protocol could provide a suitable technical solution to the scenario, exploring situations in which the synchronized settlement process should not complete, for example, where there is a lack of available liquidity to make a payment and to understand potential ways of responding and building understanding of technical challenges associated with both synchronization and the Interledger protocol. The Ripple solution utilized by the bank was built around the open source Interledger protocol that enables payments to be made across different ledgers and networks across the world. A ledger is essentially a file used to record transactions measured in terms of a monetary unit of account. The solution used Ripple Connect which acted as the interface that enables an institution's internal system to integrate with the Ripple network. This means that the payment instructions can be sent and received and the state of payments can be queried. The solution also utilized the ILP validator network which coordinates the settlement of payments between the transactions ledgers and is the source of truth regarding the success or failure of such payments. We successfully integrated the Ripple solution with two simulated RTGS systems hosted in the cloud and demonstrated that we could process a successful cross-border payment across two RTGS systems simultaneously. We also demonstrated that an attempted cross-border payment that failed validation on the receiving side would not be honoured. Reflections and next steps. This POS was a useful exercise to develop the bank's understanding of synchronization and possible technical solutions. Our key learning points were that the Interledger protocol was able to support synchronization of payments between two simulated RTGS ledgers, that the ILP validator created a single source of truth between the two ledgers, eliminated the need for separate processes such as mutual reconciliation between separate ledgers. Cross-border payments when applied to wholesale markets present different challenges than when compared with retail and corporate transactions, which the Ripple product is designed to handle. The availability of liquidity is one such challenge and the POC allowed the bank and Ripple to begin exploring these questions. The bank is considering further proofs of concepts to extend its understanding of the dimensions of the synchronization concept. So my people, Ripple, Ripple XRP, UK, you see what's going on and you see what's happening, my people. Come on. So moving on, Corium, Corium tweeted, it's time for an upgrade. The Corium version 2 proposal, empowered by IBC, is available for voting. Significant enhancements in smart fungible FT and non-fungible NFT token functionalities have been deployed. Proposal, here's a brief breakdown. One, FTs, IBC integration. Streamlines connections with other blockchain ecosystems. Upgrade mechanism. Allows older asset to support new features. Full balance details query. Comprehensive account balance view. New CLI commands. Novel commands for better control and functionality. 2. NFTs. Query NFT classes. Detailed list of NFT classes by issuer. Fetch burn NFTs. List all burnt NFTs. New CLI commands. Expanding functionality scope. 3. WASM. IBC integration, enabling IBC for WASM smart contracts. WASM SDK, new FT and NFT functionalities included. Four, fee model, query recommended gas price, predictive facility for future blocks to optimize transactions cost. Hashtag build on Corium. So my people, I just did my vote. I, th I think we've got up to the, is it the 6th or the 8th of August? One of those days. So if you need to vote my people, cast your votes my people. Corium also posted, Corium is sponsoring at ETH Toronto. Join the team at the largest blockchain event in Canada for a series of workshops and the hackathon. For a chance to win two VIP all access tickets, simply follow at Corium official RT this post and leave a comment with the tag hashtag build on Corium. So Corium is sponsoring the ETH Toronto hackathon dev workshop and keynote. So shout out my bro Solo Magic, real Solo Magic posted Bing X spot listing notification. Bing X spot adds Sologenic trading pair. Trading available on the 2nd of August 2023. So that was yesterday, my people. Hashtag solo, hashtag futures. So, that, so if you want to trade solo, you can trade solo on there. So Coins PH posted, what's up solo fans? Join us for our Coins Times Real Sologenic Twitter space on Thursday, August the 3rd at 8.30 PHT. Join here, Coins Solo Twitter space with Michael, business developer of Real Sologenic. So my people, that's today at 8.30 PHT. Join there. I'll be joining to give a little listen. So Crypto Bubbles, 
XDC up 11%, XDC keeps moving, Pulse Chain up 30% after its decline, Hex up 8%, Phantom down 4%, AVAX, Avalanche down 1%, Crypto Bubbles, it's a liquidation heat map, liquidation heat map, total liquidations, 66.74 million wrecked, 57.23 million out of those that went long, and 9.51 million out of those that went short. So my people, I appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video for me, my people. I'm Solo Scrooge of the Solo News. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. My heart, money on my mind, I need an M fast. Got the drop at eight, then read that by ten past.